is Sulo B. I am an interdisciplinary maker and metalsmith. I make limited production and one-of-a-kind wearables and sculptures to make a self-made safe space called Sparklefield Cloud9. I'm currently in my home studio that I am building out in San Antonio, Texas. And we're gonna do a little studio tour for the American Craft Council's online Marketplace Studio Series. So let's go check it out. Welcome to my studio space, AKA Sparkle Filth Cloud 9. This is my very first studio space as I've previously only been in academic settings. You can see that there's action figures and Pokemon and all of that around in the space. I'm very much a nester, so having the things that I draw inspiration from in my space are very important. This is my workbench where all of the magic happens. And over here I have some samples of some new work that I'm tinkering on and have plans for for the online marketplace series. All of these are laser cut steel. I use laser cut elements because it allows me to think quickly through a process and make things without having to worry about having to saw each element individually. All of these are soldered together after assembly. My newest body of work is investigating the use of wood. I was at a residency at Pocosin for their spring session for two weeks and I had the opportunity to experiment with maple wood. I've been using the process that I used to carve wax and it's been translating really well into the wood and I'm really looking forward to thinking about how this can have a major role in my practice. I've also been working on developing sparkle filth characters and what they look like. So here are some. All of these are drawn on and then I carve into them with my flex shaft tools. Here are some more samples. I'm very much a person that enjoys material research, so when I have an idea, I like to jump directly into the material to understand it, to see if something may work or not. Here's an un another fun little ring sample. And this is some work that will be in the online marketplace for May. This is my signature finish, a process I developed in grad school by layering stickers and glitter together, and then sanding it back and distressing the surface, and this is what I'm left with. No two surfaces are alike. Each one is unique because of the process of layering. And this is a great way to see how the one-of-a-kind exhibition work informs my limited production. They both use similar color palettes and material surfaces. This is a really exciting object. All of these pieces right here are hand cut and then tension set together and soldered in place. This is a ramen wrapper on the back of this piece. I really enjoy using found objects or other weird materials in my practice. And my drawing station. This is a really awesome little spot for me to just make all of the cool characters happen and come to life. I actually never planned on being a metalsmith or working in 3D elements at all. I was actually a 2D major, a drawing and illustration major in undergrad, and I needed a 3D credit to graduate. And I decided to take metalsmithing I totally thought it was going to be like the cutscene in Lord of the Rings when they're under the mountain forging the rings, and it totally wasn't, and it was a nice surprise. As a trans non-binary individual, I want to make work that exists as the purest form of me in this world. I think it really is all about making this self-made reality or self-made safe space called Sparkle Filth Cloud 9. Everything feeds into that, and I really enjoy parts of my process more so than specific things to make. And I let the object speak to me of what it wants to become. A lot of the times I am sitting there with various elements on my table, I recycle a lot of things in my practice. So something that may not work for another piece might find a home later on in a new piece. So I do a lot of assemblage, putting things together, seeing what works. And I let the piece tell me what it wants to be, be it a brooch, be it a pendant, a necklace, um, or a ring, or sometimes it's just a sculpture. And my favorite part of my practice really is making sparkle filth, and I've seen it grow tremendously over the past two and a half years since starting it out uh, in grad school, and now I'm at the point of making my own characters and my own creatures that live within sparkle filth, and actually carving them out and letting them exist as objects. And so that's something that is really exciting for me in this uh, new chapter in my practice.
Thank you again for joining me on this little studio tour. You can learn more about myself and my practice on my website at www.sparklefill.cloud. You can also find me on Instagram at sparkle underscore fill to stay up to date on studio happenings. Please check out the online marketplace to shop some amazing work from myself and other makers. Thank you again, American Craft Council. Bye!